Hi there, this is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And today we're going to talk about tracking templates. The only thing I wanted to tell you before the beginning of the video that this is advanced topic. If you never made a single campaign in Bing or Google Ads, please do not watch this video unless if you really want to, because it might be a little bit complicated for you to get the whole idea and to make everything right. But if you have some experience, go for it. So the tracking template is a fast way to put tracking parameters in URLs. The cool part is that you just set up what you want to put and which order. And it can be not only UTM params, it can be anything at all you want to put there. For example, you wanted to predefine currency on your site, or you wanted to predefine locale on your site. And if you have a parameter for that, you can use tracking templates, different tracking templates for different campaigns. So it's faster to implement than actually put UTM params in every URL. It's easy to maintain and update because you set up it only once on a campaign or account level. And if something changes, it automatically changes in all campaigns. It helps to keep parameters healthy. So you don't have different standards in different places. And you also type in it only once, not every time you need to do that. And the beautiful part, the most beautiful part, that it does not push URL to approval status. So if you have some changes in your URL, you want to change the locale, currency or UTM params, you just go and change the tracking template. It won't push your ad or keyword to approval. It will stay in line and the changes will be applied within five minutes. In five minutes, you can go to Google or Bing if you use Bing and actually check that you have new params in your URL online. I love it. So to write the parameter, the formula of it is very simple. LP URL in curly brackets stands for final URL that you use in ad on an ad level or on keyword level. So whatever you have there will be automatically used on this place. And whatever parameters you have, they will also be applied. The beautiful part there that if you have a question mark and some parameters there, Google will handle this automatically. Google will build the correct URL no matter how many parameters you have. The only thing you have to remember that, for example, in this particular example, if my final URL has a parameter equals, I don't know, five, it will, all, it will be overwritten. By the way, I have a mistake on this slide. I have the same parameter names. I should call them parameter A and parameter B. So whenever you have an LP URL comes to these templates and going to be overwritten by these parameters if they have the same name or just be added it if it doesn't have the same names. Tracking template support microsys. So you can set up these tracking templates on account level and you see the curly brackets underscore CMP that stands for campaign in my example and the same on the right underscore ADGR as you can guess ad group. So I set up how it should be and then I can define CMP and ad group on a campaign and ad group level without copying this tracking template. In other words, long story short, I just take this prompt, put it on account level and then I just go to campaign and the only thing I do is I just set up CMP, nothing else. I don't go to final URLs, I don't go to all URLs, I don't push any UTM parameters, they will be applied automatically. I just need to define what is CMP on a campaign level. And this is how it works. In this particular example, I have the tracking template, not on account level, but on campaign level, and I use CMP as a macro. And then I define that CMP stands for my campaign name. In this example, why I use the macro if I have the, if I have this, this tracking template on campaign level, it's very easy. I just copy this tracking template across different campaigns that have the same logic. And I do not change it, I just copy them. And then I define only CMP on a campaign level, that's all. And I also have to go to do ad groups and define, and define underscore group. And this is the example, like, I do not put tracking template on ad group level because it already exists on campaign level. If I put it here, it will be overwritten because you need to understand that everything that is on level below is much more important for Google than everything on level above. The same happens with the bits. You have ad group bit 
and you also have a keyword bid that is more important than ad group bid. The same happens here. But I do not need to define tracking template on each level. For this particular example, you just saw it in a campaign level, here it is, and you also see underscore group that is used for UTM content that I define here on ad group level. And that's all. Each time I will click on advertising and ads, you will see that all my URLs have the correct link. Or you can just push the test here, just under the custom parameters, and it will show the full tracking template that is applied for top 10 keywords in your ad group. I think that's very cool, and I really recommend you to go there and to play with the button test. It's very cool. When I saw that, I was happy as a child. The last thing I wanted to remind you that keyword information is more important than ad group, ad group more than important than campaign, campaign more than account. So you have a tracking template applied on account level and a campaign level, the campaign level will be used for all parameters that exist on both levels. And the same happens on ad group and keyword. So please try to set up tracking template on a campaign or account level and only fill the variables on levels below. That's all I wanted to tell you. It's a very simple topic. Just go there, just play there and do not start your UTM parameters education from, the, from tracking templates because it looks easier, but you have to understand how it works before you're trying to automate the process. Thank you very much. Ask your question in the comment section, subscribe to this video and put like. Goodbye.